Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazan of Chess Channel and welcome to a beautiful game that I hope will improve your end of the week and depression. The weekend is over, we'll start a new week, everyone has to work, everyone has to go to school again and I hope this game will cheer you up because it's really a wild wild Yugoslav attack between the two most powerful chess engines, Stalfish 16 and Lila C0 in the crazy Dragon Sicilian. So let's dive now immediately into the game, let's uh, cheer up everyone, let's see now really really again. And a spectacular AI match. So with the white pieces, the stallfish engine open with the move e4. We have now c5 by Lila c0. The Sicilian knight to f3, d6 modern stuff. D4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, and now after knight to f6, hitting the phone, knight to c3 by the fish, and now we have the beautiful dragon Sicilian. And I myself think the Dragon Sicilian is not such a good opening in any level of chess. If you're maybe playing uh, the Sicilian, you should maybe tr try the Accelerated Dragon Sicilian or maybe, I don't know, the Knight of Sicilian, maybe the Khan Sicilian. The Dragon Sicilian in AI chess, I think, is not working anymore. And I've been asked so many times, but man, I'm I'm having so many great games in the Dragon Sicilian. Why should I give up on the Dragon Sicilian? I think this Yugoslav attack against the Dragon Sicilian is simply too powerful. A stronger opponent will always, I think, crush, will simply destroy, dismantle uh, the weaker player in the Yugoslav uh, attack against the Dragon Sicilian. So, in my opinion, it's not an opening that I would recommend you. You see also how one of the most powerful chess engines, Lila C0, also struggles to somehow defend this position because this uh, attack that you see now by Stockfish is really, really epic. It's really, really crazy. So, after move G6, we have now the move Bishop to E3, uh, Bishop to G7, and now comes this Yugoslav attack move f3 with the preparation to play queen to d2 then launch a flank attack g4 h4 trade off the dark square bishop build of course a queen and uh, rook battery on the h file and try of course even sometimes in some lines to deliver checkmate so we have now casting by Lila queen to d2 as promised now we have the preparation to uh, launch of course a king side flank attack knight to c6 by Lila putting more pressure against the knight on d4 and now bishop to c4 by Stoffer simply a normal development bishop to d seven queen side casting now we have this common opposite side attacking where the kings are on opposite sides and of course who is faster on the attack against his opponent king will simply win the game we have knight to e5 by lila hitting the bishop bishop drops back and now rook to c8 we're still in the standard line of the yugoslav attack of the dragon dragon sicilian king to b1 tiny little improvement of the king and now a6 lila is also preparing here queen side flank attack with the move b5 stockfish immediately attacks with h4 h5 lila c0 at least blocks for a while the potential g4 move but stockfish plays g4 anyway and that's i think the correct way here to proceed that's of course in the spirit of uh, this opposite side attack games you don't count pawns you don't count material anymore you're just trying of course to open the position in front of your opponent's king so we have now h takes g4 as i said you don't count pawns you're just trying to split the pawn chain in front of black's king so that's why h5 this is the way to go and what should black do g takes h5 is a suicide immediately here for black because we'll simply play bishop to h6 as i said we're trying to get rid of the key defender of blacks this beautiful dragon bishop the bishop on g7 and now even if you try somehow to compete we get the queen here no we, have, we can play f takes g4 you take knight to f5 look at this the position is collapsing you take then we take the knight is falling and a game over i would say here for black of course black can play different lines but if you play here g takes h5 i guarantee you the game will be over in a couple more moves so that's why after move h5 you have to play knight to h5 at least now the h file is locked but now stockfish continues with rook from d to g1 and this attacking formation is really amazing look at this both rooks on the most optimal files the bishop on b3 targeting the f7 square uh, queen on bishop uh, battery on dark which is present through the whole game knights are waiting to come somehow into the game so all of the pieces are included into this powerful attack here by white we have now rook to c5 Lila is trying somehow to connect now the rook to the knight in order to get another defender because in some lines white could maybe maybe not immediately but could 
could maybe sacrifice even the rook for the exchange here we could put, could sacrifice the rook for knight and open again the position in front of black's king stockfish continues with f4 we have now these two flexible pawns that are trying of course even to split the pawn chain in front of black's king even further so we're trying just somehow to open the position not as i said calculating how many pawns we have lost how many i don't know exchanges we have lost we're trying just to hit the king as fast as we can good attacking move here by the fish knight to c4 by Leela, and now we have bishop to c4 knight chop three instead of knight to c4 of course also doesn't make sense because we'll simply take and then the rook is hanging on c5 so after move f4 knight to c4 stockfish takes Leela takes and now stockfish continues with the aggressive attack with the move f5 this is the way to go what should you do if you try here g takes f5 uh, then we can play this one queen to h2 you don't have to even pick up the knight immediately you can play rook to h5 immediately it would be also perfectly fine but i think after g takes f5 queen to h5 uh, queen to h2 is even more correct we're simply putting more pressure uh here against the king and i think again after a couple more moves the game is over so instead of g takes f5 you could play maybe queen to b6 but again you're getting in front of uh in front of the bishop knight to b3 so solves i think all of the position problems you're trying maybe to continue the pressure somewhere here but the issue for black is even if you manage somehow to create a tiny little weakness here you should never i think give up your dark school bishop here for the knight if that happens um then uh, you don't have any more a defender in front of black's king so that's why i don't know you try maybe uh, here for bishop to h6 to play the move bishop to c3 to keep somehow attacking chances but now we take you're trying maybe i don't know queen to e4 and now we simply play here f takes g6 whatever you do for instance you try f takes g6 then this one is hanging rook is hanging king to f8 queen to h6 look at this white is continuing the attacking flow even knight to d2 is possible playing the rook uh the fork against the rook and the queen even if you don't play here f takes g6 you can maybe try queen to g6 but now look at this even queen to d5 is working rook is hanging on c4 and also uh the knight on h5 you maybe try queen to uh, bishop to e6 but now we take and again i think uh white is completely winning here so that was our analysis after queen to b6 we saw also g takes f5 is not working because of the loose knight so after move f5 uh by stockfish Leela continued with knight to f6 trying somehow to get a new defender here in front of black's king but now suddenly again uh, the h file is open so that's why stockfish continues now with the normal plan that we have talked about in the beginning so as i said the main goal is to trade off the dark school bishops build a rook and queen battery on the h file and of course deliver checkmate Leela is battling with bishop to h8 good move the only move i would say here for black because white could fall into a positional trap could maybe try bishop takes f8 a greedy player um, maybe even a beginner would play this move seems tempting but actually after queen takes f8 uh, this is an equal position so black is not losing i think anymore this game uh, black is continuing now the game with a powerful bishop with a powerful rook and suddenly i think the attack is splashed look at this f takes g6 f takes g6 the queen is close enough to the action this pawn is marching now it's suddenly supported uh, by the rook uh, by pardon me uh, by the knight and the bishop the Rook cannot take the pawn and suddenly i think black has uh black has solved the tactical and positional mess in front of black's king so that's why after bishop to h8 you should not take the rook you should keep your pieces on the board and that's exactly what stockfish is doing stockfish continues the attacking flow with queen to g5 uh we have now rook to c5 let's see now have what uh what happens if you try to continue maybe your attack on this side of the board it's simply too slow because after f takes g6 you're trying to attack look at this we cover you're trying something like this we don't have to even pick up uh, the bishop on f5 we just go for the dark school bishop now we play check and after a couple more moves mission accomplished the dark school bishop is off the board and now we can deliver this amazing rook and uh, queen battery checkmate so that's why after queen to g5 uh lila continues now with the only move again i would say rook to c5 not allowing here f takes g6 to happen then the queen is lost but stockfish continues now with the brilliant move and maybe if you want to calculate this position if you want to maybe study some tactics pause the video and try to see now again the best continuation here for white i would even dare to say white moves and wins the game but uh, maybe for someone this could be complicated i'm not sure if i myself would see this move i would maybe consider it but i'm not sure in a faster time form which would i really calculate everything here so it's a tough one so as i said just for fun try to see now the best continuation here for white
<clears throat> okay here stockfish plays again a beautiful exchange sacrifice with rook takes g4 very very wild stuff this is the way to go let's see now again options uh, what black could do for instance if you try b5 let's again see maybe a natural approach maybe i don't know um someone is trying to play at least some kind of a counter attack here on the queen side then you continue simply with the h file attack and now after something like rook to e8 you can even sack the rook here on g6 very very wild stuff f takes g6 now we play queen to g5 and again there is this problem around the square g6 here uh, then i think strategically and tactically it's lost so you can maybe try here rook to e8 to maybe get somehow also an escape square for the king but now you continue with rook to h4 uh, e6 maybe the queen is finally coming into defense but now you play this one queen to g1 and you're trying to play now really really a full full die hard battery here on the h file with both of these rooks and also uh with the queen and now after something like e takes f5 we play bishop to g5 black is trying to somehow hold uh uh, here the position around the square h8 is trying maybe even to escape with the king but now we deliver a check anyway and i think again the game is lost after something like king to e7 uh, we play simply rook to h7 and now we get rid of the key defender of uh, of the knight here on f6 d6 very weak also knight to d5 could happen so again game over i would say here for uh for black so after move rook to g4 that stockfish played lila c0's response was knight to g4 we have queen takes g4 again there is now the tension on the g file we have bishop to d4 lila grabs another piece but stockfish plays now beautiful move queen to h4 and if you play of course bishop to g7 then again you get uh, the, the position is lost on the h file what you could do maybe is create some kind of a escape route again for the king but look at this then bishop to e3 is actually winning the game you're trying to get the bishop back we deliver a check and now comes this pattern that i think is very useful uh to know uh, when you play against the fianchetto maybe you have reached sometimes a similar position and you didn't know how to punish um uh, black's position then you play bishop to h6 after bishop to h6 queen to uh, queen to h8 is a beautiful checkmate so i think it's a common motif that should be familiar when you are attacking the fianchetto maybe as i said you have reached some kind of a similar position and uh you maybe didn't react correctly i think here uh, really really worthwhile to know bishop to e3 deflecting the bishop of course from the defense of the h8 square but now when he retreats we simply double check bishop to h6 and now uh, deflect again the bishop from the defense of the h8 square so here after queen to h4 that's why bishop to f2 lila tries to battle B uh, queen to h3 stockfish of course stays on the h file rook to f5 the lila is desperately trying somehow to get new defenders into the game but now stockfish continues with bishop to g5 cuts off uh here the potential rook to h5 move is not allowing uh here the rook to participate in defense very very amazing stuff here by stockfish bishop to h4 lila is competing we have e takes f5 bishop to c6 trying to attack the rook but again stockfish stays simply on the h file and i would say here really, really game over f6 queen takes h4 uh, you cannot take here after g5 because queen to h7 is immediately a checkmate after queen to h4 we have king to f7 lila is trying to escape but stoppers delivers a check uh bishop to h6 hitting the rook queen comes here but the issue is after queen to g6 uh and king uh, rook to f7 in this particular position lila resigned because still there is this one bishop to c1 we can play uh even if you step back here to d7 we can pick up actually the rook because uh the queen on g6 um is controlling of course the g1 score so no dangerous check on the back rank by black is possible so after queen to g6 and as i said rook to f7 in this position lila c0 resign white is simply up a piece uh black has of course a more endangered king although lila has maybe some attacking chances but stockfish will always create some breathing spaces for the king and will eventually include of course this other uh, pieces into the game the king is naked here game over i think here uh for black so great game uh, here by stockfish for the end of our week uh, i think it's an amazing amazing uh, yugoslav attack so as i said i don't think that the dragon sicilian should be your first choice uh, when you play against e4 there are many many good responses burn defense murphy defense uh 
even the Petrov, I think, is solid. Uh, so uh, maybe even the Karokan, I don't know, French defense. But the Dragon is, I think, useless in uh, this AI chess. You see, Stockfish destroys, dismantles this other AIs with a really, really immortal, mortal tactical sequence. And so, okay, I hope that you enjoyed the game. I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, if you want to see more Dragon Sicilian crazy, spectacular tactical games, check out our uh, coverage so far. Here are some games that we have analyzed before and if you want to see more ai chess like this with immortal tactical sequences check out our com to chess games play by computer series here's also the link and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course